So I bought a new hat today and decided to wear it. Um, I'm going to a poetry forum tomorrow, so I needed to get a new hat. It was kind of expensive, but I think it's pretty cool and awesome, so I had to wear it. Today I have a pretty huge manga haul to show you. I have a lot of manga. Um, I'm not even sure how much it is. Let me just count it really quick. So I have 21 volumes of manga to show you today, so let's get started with this really quick. First one I got is Requiem for the Rose King, and this is the brand new manga series from Ayakano, who is the creator of Odobin. And as you can see, I'm currently reading this one. I'm about halfway through the first volume, and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. This is a retelling of King Richard III and Henry VI, I believe. It's a reimagining of those two Shakespeare plays um, about the War of the Roses. Uh, and it's really great so far. Uh, the main character is Richard, that's the guy with the black hair, and he has deformities, and he he might possibly be an illegitimate child. Um, so, And there's this huge war going on between the House of Lancaster and the House of York for the crown of England, I believe. Um, so that's freaking cool. Um, the artwork is amazing, as per usual. It's very dark. Like, here's a good little picture of the art. It's very, very dark and just really well done. I really like it a lot uh, because it's Ayakano and she can do no wrong, so I love it so far. The next one I have is really interesting, actually. Um, it's a it's an LGBT uh, manga volume called uh, What Did You Eat Yesterday by Fumi no Yoshinaga, and this is an LGBT uh, slice of life series, actually. It's about Shiro Kakei, who is a lawyer by day and a gourmand by night, and he lives with his boyfriend, uh, Kenji Yabuki, an outgoing salon stylist. And it's basically about their relationship and how that develops and just the slice of life aspect of being growing up in Japan as two gay men, I guess. And it just sounds really good. Um, it's, it's got a lot of food involved. Uh, I believe one of them's a chef. Or they, they encounter a chef, maybe. Is that what a gourmand is? Maybe a gourmand is a chef. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard that word before. Um, but it looks really, really good. I've heard great things. It's published by Vertical, who is a really good manga producing company. I really like Vertical so much so far. And I'm excited to see what this is all about and read it. The next few manga volumes I got, I'm really, really excited to read. I haven't read them yet um, because I'm only on volume 5 of this series, but I got volumes 7 through 10 of Voice Over Seiyu Academy. So there's volume 7. I really, really like this series. Um, I, I've talked about it before on my channel, and they're just, they're really great volumes. Uh, it's a great, cute, adorable series about these voice actors or would-be voice actors that are in school right now learning to become voice actors and they're just, you know, experiencing life together, making friends and it's really, really adorable and lovely and amazing and I really like it. If you haven't read it yet, you definitely should. As you can tell, the artwork is fantastic. It's so well done. I, I love this manga's work. I really want to read Special A by her. Um, it's Maki Minami. It's that, that's the um, artist and She's just, she's so phenomenal. She's just great. I love her. So if you haven't picked up the series, you definitely should. Uh, volume 12 is the final volume, and that comes out, I believe, at the end of this year. If not, the beginning of 2016, I'm not sure. But very, very excited about those. The next big stack of manga is also from the same, well, it's, it's all in the same series. And that is Rene. I got volume 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17, which is the latest volume in the series. I am very, very happy to be all caught up with the series. I've been collecting it almost since it came out, I believe, when it first came out. I think it was like 2011, maybe? It's been a while, and they're finally, uh, I finally caught up to the series, so I'm really glad about that. There are 17 volumes out right now. And I'm not sure how long it'll be, but the anime for this series just came out, and I've heard really, really good things about it, so I can't wait for that. I heard that it was licensed by Sentai Filmworks, which, of course, as you know me, 
I love that company so much. So I'm so, so excited to see where what Sentai does with that series. I hope there's a dub. I'm not sure if there's going to be a dub, but the animation looks spectacular, and it's just so vibrant and colorful, and I just, I want to watch it so bad because I love the series. The next volume of manga I got is Skip Beat Omnibus number 8, which contains volumes 22 through 24 of the series. And as you guys know, I've been talking about the series for a long time now, and this is one of my favorite manga series. Uh, I love it so much. I finished volume 4 of the Omnibuses a couple of weeks ago, and I'm probably going to be talking about that again soon, very, very soon. I'm going to make a new video about it because I'm kind of obsessed with the series right now. So I'll be talking about that soon, and just... I really, really love Skip Beat. It's so fun, and I'm always up for buying a new volume of it, because it's just, it's wonderful. And the series is just so great. I am never dissatisfied with any of these volumes so far. It's just developing in such a nice way. I love it, and I love the characters, and I just, I'm really, really fantastically excited about this series. It's so good. The next volume I got is um, Master Keaton Volume 2 of the Viz Signature Edition. This is the latest volume that's been released by Viz, and uh, as you can tell, it is gorgeous and just a very, very beautiful um, published edition. It's so pretty. I don't know if the light will catch it, but as you can see, it's got like the map and uh, just really, really nice detail. And there's colored pages, and it's just, it's very, very fantastic, very well done. Uh, this is actually a manga that Naoki Urasawa illustrated, I guess. Um, I think he, he, it's based on a story by these two other people, so I'm not sure if it's, I mean, it still has his art, and it looks like a, a, um, a Urasawa title, but um, I'm still so excited to read more of it. I only read the first, like, five chapters of the first volume so far, and it's not the most amazing thing that I've read so far, but I just, I really want to read more of it, so I had to collect this because I love Urasawa so much. He's quite possibly my favorite mangaka. I believe he is. Yeah, because he's awesome. The next thing I got is the only thing that I've read out of all these manga, and that is Blood Lad Volume 1. Now, I first heard about the series from Melissa, my good friend. Uh, she watched the entire anime. I actually bought her the anime last year for her birthday, I believe, and um, I haven't watched the anime yet. I've been meaning to, but I decided to pick up the manga, and I started reading it like yesterday, and I finished it yesterday. I couldn't put it down. It was so, so good, and I just, I want more volumes of this, but it's just kind of expensive, um, but I guess it makes sense because it's two volumes in one, so it it's, it, I don't know. I... I mean, I like Yen Press. I think they're a great company, but they are pretty expensive. But, it, I mean, I, I guess I can afford it because I am I have exposable income. So, but, yeah, it's a great series. Really, really good. It's about this uh, boy named Staz, who is a vampire. He's the leader of this gang in the demon world, and he meets this girl, a uh, human girl, that gets eaten and turned into a ghost, and he has to defend her and try to protect her from all the evil bad guys in this series. And it's pretty good so far. I need to pick up more volumes of it, but I do like it so far. The next thing I picked up is uh, High School Debut Volume 4 of The Omnibus, which contains volumes 10, 11, and 12. Now, I've read the first eight volumes of the series. It's one of my favorite shoujo mangas. It's so good, so well done. Uh, the illustrations are just beautiful. I love Kazuna Kawahara's artwork. It's just, it's stunning. I love it so much. And the story is really, really well done. Um, I haven't re finished the last volume yet because me and Melissa are still going to read volume 9 together, eventually on Skype sometime, and I'm kind of saving it. But I wanted to get the next volume just to prepare myself for later. And I think we're going to read uh, volume 12 together, maybe, I think. Um, I think we should also read the last volume in the series together as well, like volume 13. Um, but yeah. I'm really, really excited to check out what happens next in this story. Um, it's just so cute. I love Kyo. I think his name is Kyo. Or Ko. Sorry, Ko. And, um, no, Yo. Oh my gosh. I am just failing today. His name's Yo, and I like Yo a lot. He's one of my favorite manga boyfriends, so really, really fantastic series. 
Next is a series I just bought today, and I am so happy I found this in Barnes & Noble, because I haven't been able to find it, and that is the 3-in-1 edition of Dance in the Vampire Bund. This was a series that was recommended to me by my good friend Perry uh, from One Arm, the One Arm Legend, I think. I'll leave his channel below. Uh, he and I have been talking for a while now, and he recommended this series to me. And I've been looking for it for a while because I know he's talked about it a lot, um, but I haven't been able to find it until today. They finally restocked it at Barnes & Noble, so... And this is just a fantastic edition. Can I just say that? Like, like all the art is, um, you know, it's, it's huge and just really well illustrated. And, I mean, this is $20 worth my money because look how thick that is. This is like a phone book. It's a huge, huge manga volume. Uh, it's three volumes in one. And again, the artwork is just fantastic. There's, it's just, it's a really, really cool story. A lot of action, a lot of gore. Um, it's about this vampire princess who is basically um, the leader of this coven of vampires. And she's trying to create this world where vampires can live peacefully on their own. Um, because humans are after them and trying to kill them because they're evil. And so she is trying to create a world for vampires to live in. And it's really good so far. I've only read the first chapter, but I did like it a lot. Um, very, very interesting. And I can't wait to read more of it. Okay, this next one I might fanboy a little bit about because I got it in the mail uh, before it came out um, a few weeks ago, I think. And I started reading it already, and I love it, and it's um, The World's Greatest First Love by, uh, what's her name, Shingiku Nakamura. Uh, this is the cre same creator as Junta Romantica, and if you guys know me, you know this is my favorite anime series, at least yaoi anime series of all time, and I'm finally reading it, and I love it so much, it's so good. Oh, I just, oh, it's so nice to be with these characters again. When I first started reading it, I read, uh, like, the first tw 20 pages or so, and I almost started crying because I haven't been with these characters in, like, three years. And getting to experience the story with them again has been wonderful and amazing, and uh, I just love it so much. It's so wonderful. Um, so definitely re um, pick up this release if you haven't already. It's by Sublime Manga. It just came out. It's actually in Barnes & Noble, which is awesome. Um, my Barnes & Noble never stocks Yaoi, and they stocked this one, so that's great. Great progress right there. And it's just, it's so good. The only thing that's weird is that it doesn't say Volume 1 on the spine. It just says, um, what does it say? Um, the case of Ritsu Onodera is what it says. The world's greatest first love. And so, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't say Volume 1. I don't know why. Um, I wonder if this is, like, the prequel or not? I don't know. Maybe it's a misprinting. I don't know. But... Volume 2 and 3 are on, on, like, on pre-order already. I've already ordered them. So, yeah, I am a huge fan of this series. I love the characters, and the story's great. Uh, it's about Ritsu Onodera, who is this um, novelist er uh, editor, and he works for this really, really high-class uh, manga or uh, novel-producing company. His father is the owner of that company, and he somehow gets involved in the shoujo manga industry. He gets a job there at, I forget what the, Emerald, I think, Publishing? I forget what it's called. Um, and he meets, it's Murakawa Publishing. And he meets the main, the uh, love interest who's on the cover right here, Takano-san. I love Takano. He is one of the main head editors of the company. And the romance ensues, and there's, there's a, a past that they have together from high school, and it's just, it's really, really adorable and sweet, and I like it a lot. Very, very awesome. So happy to have this. Oh my god, I'm so happy. And then these last two volumes just came out today on the 21st of April, so these are literally fresh off the press, and I'm so excited to read them. Um, and the first one is Let's Dance a Waltz, and this is by Natsume Ando. This is a new series from the creator of P K Kitchen Princess and Arisa, and I haven't read either of those yet, even though I have Arisa. I have the first four volumes on my shelf, and I haven't read them for some reason. But I was told about this series from my friend Melissa. She and I talk about manga a lot, like literally every week, uh, every three days, every single hour of every second of every day. Um, and so, yeah, I really am excited to read this one. It's about a girl who is named Hime, and she's burdened by the name that her mother gave her, and she decides she wants to join this 
dance group um, of ba ballroom dancing, and her teacher is named Tango, which is a really funny kind of pun right there. Um, and he doesn't want to be a dancer, he doesn't want to teach dancing because he finds it um, embarrassing. And so he has a, that's basically his secret is that he teaches dancing and no one of his, of his friends knows that he does this and she decides to keep his secret. And I'm assuming a love story ensues. This is from Kodansha Publishing and I am so excited to read it. It looks so adorable. Just the cover alone looks so cute and I'll show you a bit of the artwork as well. Just, just look how cute it is. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. I love it so much. So I'm definitely going to read this one soon. I bought today, and oh, I'm so excited. It is Your Lie in April, and this series is by Naoshi Arukawa, and this was adapted into an anime series recently, I believe this season, and it's very, very popular. A lot of people like this series, and this story just sounds so, so incredible. It's about a boy named Kosei Arima, who was once a piano prodigy. Uh, but his mother had passed away recently, and that kind of made him go into this deep depression, and he stopped playing piano for good. And then he meets this girl named Kaori Miyazono, who is um, a, what is it, violinist. And she teaches him about life, and helps him to accept his grief, and hopefully retake the piano because he was such a good piano player and he was so passionate about it and that's something that he shouldn't have lost before so it sounds so good I can't wait to read it I'm so excited thank you Melissa for pointing this out because it just seems like something right up my alley because I love that that storyline of like you know going through something in your past that's really dark and having someone bring you out of it and be happy again I really like that kind of like with um, The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen, sort of like that. And I just, I think it's going to be great, and I'm so excited, and I can't wait to read more of it. Okay, that is all of the manga I bought. Oh my goodness, I bought too much. I know I did. I always buy too much. But you know, that's what happens when you're an otaku, and you're obsessed with anime and manga. You just, you spend your whole paycheck. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've read any of these manga, please let me know what you thought of them in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinion on them, uh, whether you like it or dislike it, you know. And I will see you guys next time. My head's getting really itchy from this hat. So have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.